Help, my student visa was canceled when I was leaving the United States. Hold on and buckle up. This is an important story that we can all learn from. Okay, so I've been working in this industry now for 16 years and I've been working heavily in immigration for the past 11 years. I've worked with lots of different uh, visas from student visas, tourist visas, H-1B, O visas, L visas, green cards. I've even worked with applications for green cards. So I've seen a lot and I have a lot of stories. But in this particular case, this, this has only happened two times in my 16 year career. But it's a problem that occurred that has affected this student for really a, a long time. So what happened was this student uh, had been studying with us for about a year and she decided, hey, I want to go back to Colombia and I want to visit my family in Colombia, take a vacation, which is very normal. That's 100% legal and you can do that. So I signed her immigration documents so she could then return to the United States later and then uh, she went off to the airport. She went through, you know, ticketing, baggage, and then she got to the border control where normally you just open your passport, they stamp it, and you leave the country. Well, in this particular case, the border control agent decided, hey, I'm going to ask this student some questions. Now, that's, that's a big problem because she was an intermediate level student. And when you ask intermediate level English speakers questions that they're not prepared for, they're going to panic a little bit. And I believe that this is what happened to her. So the, the question that was asked was, well, why do you want to return to the United States? And she said, well, I want to finish my program. Good. And my boss needs me to return to the United States. Now, when you're on a student visa, if you use the word boss or make money or work, you're going to get your visa denied. And that's exactly what happened to her. He took out a stamp, gave a big old canceled right into her passport on the visa, and she was unable to return to the United States. She went back to Colombia. I recommended that she waited at least six months before trying to get another visa, which she did do. She went back to the embassy, tried to get a new visa, and was denied. And unfortunately, I told her she's probably not going to get another F1 student visa for probably the next five to ten years. And that's just the way it is. Well, if you guys learned something or you have some interesting immigration stories to share with me, let me know. This is my email. This is what I do all day and I'm really interested to hear from you. If you like the video, give me a like, subscribe, write a comment. Thanks for watching.